welcome to the studio. So today I'm using yet another unusual item to pour out of to make my painting. So I have stole this from the recycling bin. It is the container that our Keurig paper filters came out of. They were in a box and then inside the box was this handy dandy item. So I split it. It's going to look like a double cup pour, kind of. Um, I think. So I'm going to use some recycled paints just to try this out. If I like the way it pours, I will create a brand new painting that uses fresh paints. So let's try it with recycles, see how it goes today. All right, so the canvas that I have chosen today is a 10 by 12, and I'm going to pour these two open cups top to bottom. I'm going to do, um, recycled looks like we've got some blues and purples along with a recycled satin enamel mix that i have and then on the other side i'm going to do a recycle it looks like greens and browns and whites with a brown and gold mixture that i have on the other side so give me a second i will get my canvas ready with the push pins get everything ready to go and we will get started with our pour all right so i am getting ready to stack my cup with the flow mix and paint leftovers that i have now i do have my tweezers ready i do expect that there's there's probably chunks of paint in here because what i do in order to retrieve this kind of paint is i wait till i'm finished with a painting and i will scrape off the extra paint if it has dried i'll leave it dried and i'll peel it up and use it for jewelry or other decorations or pieces but when it's uh, scraped up wet it is as you can see a mixture of paints and some of them may have been in some stages of drying so some of them may have um, <laughs> actually chunked up a little bit so so I'm gonna open these and I am going to get ready and see I, I can see the way that this is sitting in this cup that there's some matte paints in here you see how there's little chunks so that could add to kind of a sky effect and in this one, it says no silicone, but you can see it's kind of earthy greens, browns. And then this one is just brown and gold. All right. So let me get my gloves on and we will get started. If you are recycling gloves, so that our first responders and healthcare providers have more gloves. Be careful because the flecks of paint will come off into your painting. So always make sure you kind of dust them off away from your away from your painting before you begin. Those pieces will get in there. Now this this one's not going to be such a big deal because it is a recycled painting, but we'll see. Let me put a little bit of white and brown in at the same time. Maybe they'll stay on their own sides and play nice over there and over there. <laughs> like I said, I'm making this up as I go along. We'll see. All right, so here we go. Stacking the cup is just as much fun as getting the rest of this poured out. I see some chunks. Oops, there's a chunk already. We'll dig those out. <laughs> that was a lot of chunks. Let me get 
a stir stick here. I like to buy these cups from the dollar store and Walmart. A lot of them have lids. And that way I can keep paints for later. later. All right. Let's just go ahead and fill it with this. That's actually going to be kind of cute, I think. And I still have more left. Okay. All right, so we're going to pour this out this way. And then I have some black I might cover the edges with. So I just want to do some of that right now. Just a little bit here and there. And I do know that the black may come off the edge. That's okay. All right, we are ready to go. Okay. Looks kind of funky. Uh, all right, let's search for air bubbles. I do see some. And I don't see as many chunks as I thought I was going to see, but those could come up as I'm tilting. Remember, not only are these left leftover paints, but they may have been mixed with different products. So I may have some that are just mixed with glue, some that are just mixed with Floetrol. I have no idea what I want to do for tilting this, actually. Since my weight is there, I'm going to go ahead and tilt it all the way down. It should start coming over right here. Lovely. Okay, now let's bring it back to the middle <laughs> and bring some of it down.
All right, so now that it's down this way, let's go for that corner. I noticed that there's some house paint in this white and it is a little thicker. So that's okay. We just have to remember that as we're tilting it, it's going to take it longer to get where it's going because it's thicker. Oh, it's beautiful. And now let's go down this way. There's a chunk there. That's not good. See how the chunk affected what we did there? That's okay. We can repair that later. All right. I think that's it. I'm going to tilt this off the end. And then decide how I want it to look. And then bring it back to that spot. So let's see. Oh, it looks almost like waves and mountains. So I want less of the sky look. So let's go this way. So you see it coming up your way. I noticed that the black um, stayed in between the two colors, which is okay, which is nice. It's very interesting. I'm not sure um, if I need to tilt it some more, though. Let me get some chunks out while I look at it. All right, well, I just am not sure about this one yet. I might have to wait for it to dry and find out what I think about it. So let me try to get my gloves off so I could reuse them. And we'll bring you in closer. All right, so this is the painting from the brown side on the bottom perspective. What do you think? It turned out kind of funky. All right, let me know in your comments what you think about this one. Thanks. Thanks.